With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question we have two trains A and B of length 400 meter each are moving in two parallel tracks with a uniform speed of 72 km per hour. Okay. In the same direction with A ahead of B. So let us draw the diagram up till here. That is, this is let's say this is the first train, okay, and this will be the second train. And it is given that A is ahead of B, okay. So this will be A, and this will be train B. And length of the train is 400 meters, right? So this is 400 meters of train. This will be 400 meters. Here the initial speed of both the trains is 72 km per hour, right? Therefore, the initial speed u will be equal to 72 into 5 by 18, right, to convert in SI units. So, this will be equal to um, 20, right, 20 meter per second. Now, further we have the driver B decides to overtake A, okay, and accelerates by 1 meter per second square. If after 50 seconds, the guard B passes, uh, just passes the driver of A. What was the original distance between them? Okay. So, further what we are given is, um, let's say, this is the original distance between A and B. Right. And this is, uh, this is some X distance. Now, what happens is, uh, driver B tries to accelerate with 1 meter per second square okay and tries to pass over the train a and the time taken to cover this distance that is given as 50 seconds so we have to calculate x now we can solve this question with the concept of relative velocity right uh, and we can treat this problem as motion in one dimension so uh, consideration of vectors need not be taken let's say that v b a that is velocity of train b with respect to train A, that will be equal to VB minus VA, right? This will be the initial velocity, right? Initially, when the train is not accelerating. In that case, VB and VA, both are 20 meter per second, right? And moving in the same direction. So, this will be equal to 20 minus 20. Therefore, VBA will be equal to zero now similarly during acceleration right the relative acceleration of b with respect to a that will be given as acceleration b minus acceleration a right now acceleration of b is one meter per second square but this is moving train a is moving with a constant velocity that means this will be one minus zero so, A, B, A will be equal to 1 meter per second square, right? Now, we can use a third equation of motion to find the distance. That will be equal to X is equal to UT plus half AT square, right? So, in this case, this will be equal to X is equal to uh, initial of initial uh, relative velocity of VBA, right? VBA T plus half um, a B A T square, right? Therefore, X will be equal to V B A is 0 plus half A B A is 1 into T, time T is 50 seconds, okay? So, this will be 50 squared. Therefore, it will be equal to 2500 divided by 2. So, it will be equal to X is equal to 1250 meter. Okay. So, this will be the distance of separation between uh, train B and train A. So, the correct option will be option C. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.